essential principle of Islam. Tawheed. Tawheed, which essentially means unification, to unify. But in the context of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it means to perceive of Him as a unity. To understand Him as a unity. To worship Him as a unity. That throughout our various relationships with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the unity of Allah should be clearly present. It is a concept. But it is a concept which is a life concept, a concept for life. That the unity of Allah should be reflected in our day-to-day lives. From the time we get up in the morning till the time we go to bed at night, the unity of Allah should be there, present. How do we achieve that? Is it really something that we should do? Well, of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us in the Quran to say, Qul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. Indeed, my prayers, my sacrifices, my living and my dying is for Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. That's it. It's summed up here. Tawheed should be the central pin- principle and pillar of our lives. So, how we relate when we get up in the morning, what is it that we should be doing? The first thing we should do is we should worship Allah. That is Salatul Fajr. That is beginning the day with Tawheed. And as we mentioned in the last Juma, what brought us here for Juma should bring us to the Masjid for Fajr, Fajr of today. In the same way we are here, keen, we should have been in the Masjid keen at Fajr today. The men. But if we didn't make it, we have missed out on great blessings. Because the Prophet ﷺ had said the prayer in Jama'ah, in community, in a, in a congregation, in the masjid is 25 to 27 times more worth that much more than the prayer in our homes by ourselves. The issue of, okay, is it compulsory to pray in the masjid? Some scholars say yes, it's compulsory for men. Some scholars say it's highly recommended. But whether compulsory or highly recommended, even if we say at least it's highly recommended, can any of us afford to throw away 25 to 27 times increase on the reward for our worship? None of us can afford to say that. So we should be there. We begin the day with Tawheed in practice. We begin by worshipping Allah. Actually, before we even made it to the masjid, when we woke up, we were supposed to make the dua saying what? Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana ba'dama amatana wa ilayhi nushur. All praise is due to He who has brought us to life after causing us to die. And the return is to Him. 
So even the first words that we uttered, having woken up, the alarm rang, our eyes opened, then that's what's supposed to come out of our mouth. Tawheed. Our first words reaffirming the oneness of Allah. Tawheed al rububiyyah He's the one who gave us this life, who created us. And He is the one to whom we must return. So, that is the beginning of the day. And every step of the rest of the day should reflect the Tawheed in the same way. We don't remember the Tawheed when we make Salat al-Fajr, but after Salat al-Fajr we come back, we're eating, we forget to say Bismillah. We forget to thank Allah at the end of the, the meal. We forgot to remember Allah when stepping out of our homes. We forgot to remember Allah when we were driving in our cars. We forgot to remember Allah when we went into our jobs. We forgot, we forgot, and we forgot until Zohar times. Zohar time comes, okay, we remember Allah again in the masjid. So between prayers, we lost out. We forgot Allah. Tawheed wasn't present. And we're only bringing it back with each of the prayers. Well, that's better than not doing it at all. But if those prayers are only a ritual that we do, it is a habit that we grew up with, that we really are not benefiting from, it is not impacting on our behavior, then that is not what Allah prescribed for us. That's what we have created for ourselves. The ritual of the prayers. It's part of our culture. But that's not what Allah prescribed. When Allah prescribed five times daily prayer, He prescribed worship. Worship where we should be involved. From the Fatiha in the prayers to the Taslims at the end of the prayers, we should be fully involved. Because Prophet Muhammad said some people will pray to Allah and nothing of that prayer will be recorded for them. They will do the motions. They will say the words. But there will be no reward for the prayer. Why? Because their hearts weren't in it. They were just doing the ritual. <coughs> 